Since 1947, the World Affairs Council has become the preeminent global stage for world leaders and the public to inform, engage, and debate the most important issues of our time. It's your world. Get to know it. It was 20 years ago that Poland rejoined the family of free nations. In June 20 years ago, the democratic opposition in Poland won a landslide victory in partially free elections, the first partially free elections since the Second World War. Earlier, at the beginning of the 1980s, the Solidarność movement had formed a popular and peaceful resistance against imposed Soviet rule and a totalitarian system of government. America supported Poland's quest for independence after the First World War, and in fact, it was California that was home to one of the heroes of Poland's struggle for independence, the great composer, pianist, and prime minister of Poland, Ignacy Jan Paderewski. Thanks to his acquaintance with President Woodrow Wilson and his advisors, he was able to advance Polish interests at the end of the First World War. He became Poland's first prime minister and foreign minister. For over 40 years of communist economy, Poland lost many opportunities to build its prosperity. Standards of living in Poland and other countries of Central Europe, Europe had significantly dropped relative to the rest of Europe. For instance, even after the Second World War, and we lost half of our national wealth in the Second World War, Poland's per capita GDP was similar to that of Spain. By the end of communism, we were four times poorer than Spaniards. We should keep emphasizing the interdependence between security, peace, development, human rights, and democracy. We should unequivocally denounce terrorism, ethnic and religious hatred, and other forms of extremism. And we must not allow pessimism and the sense of vulnerability to determine our deeds. Poland's membership in the European Union has given us a new historic departure. And I don't just mean the increased opportunities to catch up economically with the rest of Europe, although these are very significant. For example, within the current financial perspective of the EU, which is a seven-year budget, 2007 to 2013, Poland is receiving a net transfer of resources of 80 billion euros from the EU for projects in infrastructure, environmental protection, academia, agriculture, and business. In 2006 alone, 32,000 Polish students participated in academic programs at universities in other EU countries. 